I'm having to uh, get my carrots and stuff ready for uh, freezing because I can't find any lids or anything anywhere. And Walmart, they are now tearing open the cases of big jars that they have, you know, that you buy for like 12 for $13. Now they're breaking them open and selling the jars separately for $3.99 a piece. So I won't be shopping at Walmart. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I do my carrots in a uh, two to three different category. Like, I cut the big part off and cut them down the middle. And what these are used for the bigger parts are used for like uh, when I do roast or baked chicken or something like that. Then the middle part I slice them up And those will be used for like stews, like beef stew and stuff like that. And then the little bitty ends I cut up. And they're also separated into different bags. And the little bitty parts like that, let me show you here. Okay, like the small ones will be used for like soups like hamburger stew or uh, just a vegetable soup or something. The middle ones will be for like beef stew and then the larger ones will be for like uh, roast beef and, and uh, chick baked chicken stuff like that. And that's how I do mine. Alright, let me get these cut up and then I'll come back and show you how I blanch them, cool them, and then we'll get them ready to bag. All right, so we're going to get these ready to go into their hot bath and cold bath. So I'm going to start with the larger carrots. I've got most of the ow, most of the smaller ones already done. We're going to let that set in uh, boiling hot water for five minutes and I'm going to start the I have a timer up here that I use because for the bigger chunks I do five minutes medium sized chunks I do three minutes and the smaller ones I do two minutes alright so our five minutes are up so we're going to take these out now we're going to dip these and let them set for a few minutes in ice cold water and that's to help stop the cooking all right now we've pretty much got them cooled all the way down now we're going to put them in these bags that i made You want to get these as dry as you can. Make sure they're even. Open your little drawer. Door, not drawer. And... Now, they're ready for the freezer, but what I do is, uh, just to be on the safe side, I pull it back and I set my sealer for double seal, and that way I double seal the bag just as an in case. And there we go, ready for the freezer.
All right, so real quick, I'm going to make a couple of more bags for the other carrots. All right, so let's get our last two bags done here. And then we can start on cauliflower, which you have to put it on a bread pan sheet and put it in your... Uh, freezer and freeze it before you bag it and put it in the freezer because you want to keep them separate if not they just kind of freeze together and just make a big mess all right man I'll tell you what this last week is really killing me I won't have to worry about food for all winter. All right, there's one other one that can go in the freezer. Carrots are done. All ready for the freezer. Alright, now for cauliflower, what I do is I wash it really good before I even get this far. And then, once I get it cut up, it'll get washed again. ready for compost and what I do is just I go along like this and just cut the little trees I call them trees but I just cut the little trees loose And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to have to buy any vegetables all winter long. So happy. All right, so I got the cauliflower cleaned. I got it blanched. I did it the same way I did the carrots. So I figured you guys didn't want to watch that again. But all you do is uh, cauliflower's five minutes blanching. Then you let it cool down and drain real good. The only difference between the cauliflower is I took a cookie sheet and I put a good clean towel on it and you want to lay these out on the on the towel like this spread them out and this towel help soak up some of the liquid also which there isn't really much left on there after I drain it and uh, what you want to do is put this in the refrigerator freezer and let it freeze overnight before you bag it and then when I get up in the morning I'll pull it out of the freezer and it's bagged alright guys I hope you enjoyed watching this I uh, I've done nothing but pick and peel and slice and dice and can and vacuum and blanch and I tell you what like I said I am not gonna want for vegetables all winter long Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. 